All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking me about uh, how you can improve on your vibrato. Uh, it's a really common question that I receive, and honestly, it's not that hard to improve on. Uh, I got a couple top tips and two different types of vibrato for you guys to try, so stay tuned, all right? All right, so the first type of vibrato is what we what I would call like the Clapton vibrato, I guess. That's the person who I see use it the most. Or I guess you could say the BB King vibrato, somewhere inside of that. So basically the way that this vibrato works, all right, is you're going to take your finger or whichever finger you want to, and you're going to put it on the note that you want to add vibrato to, all right? So for me, I'm going to want to add vibrato to the, G, the note G on the B string, right? And the key to this vibrato is control, right? The key to all vibrato is control. So when Clapton goes to play this vibrato, you'll notice that his hand isn't touching the fretboard. The only part that is, is his index finger or his ring finger, his middle finger, whichever finger he's choosing to add vibrato with. Right, you see a lot of this type of vibrato from Clapton. Alright, so the way you do this, alright, once you get your finger comfortably on the string, all right, now the thing is, is you want the string to sit around here on your finger, all right? You want it, you know, if you don't have good calluses, this is now kind of the time do you want to start building them because vibrato is really hard unless you have good calluses, all right? So you want the string to sit somewhere on your finger here and you want to kind of put your finger a little bit sideways. See how it's not straight up and down like this? This is a really common mistake I see a lot of people make. You want to have your finger somewhat tilted to the side and then roll forwards a little bit. See that? So it's almost like I'm doing this. All right, I'm just making an upward C with my fingers. I'm going like that. I take that and I put it right on the fretboard. All right. Now, the other trick is keep all your fingers together. All right. I see a lot of people try to do it like this. Your index finger might not be strong enough to support all that weight. So what you want to do is, if you notice, all my knuckles touch... And it's almost like these fingers support this finger, all right? And you can see I shake, all right, and I shake the whole neck. Now, what you want to do to practice both of these vibratos, including the one after this I'm going to show you, is put on a metronome, okay, a slow one, maybe like 60 BPM or something, or 100, all right? And think and subdivide in your head maybe eighth notes or triplets, right? One and two and three and four and our triplet, 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 right? Right, so if we, if we had a measure going, right? Da 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 See how my vibrato is in time? So you want to do your vibrato in time over a metronome. Half, uh, you know, or eighth notes, da, 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 da. Right? Typically, blues vibrato is in triplets, da, 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 da. All right, and you want to work on hand, left hand control. The big thing is make sure every part of your hands and your body is relaxed. If you're not relaxed, your vibrato won't be good, okay? So, so overall, so far, right, be relaxed. This is very, very important. Practice your vibrato to a metronome. Do triplets and eighth notes, all right? Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da, right? That's another thing that's going to help you a ton. And the third thing is, is you want these fingers all together like this and you to be doing this shape when you put your fingers on the fretboard, your hands in a comfortable position, it's not like this. And when you go to shake the guitar, you shake it relaxed and you shake it with the whole hand, all right? That's really important. So that's one of the ways you could do vibrato and that's how I would recommend practicing. On to the next type. So the next type of vibrato uses the whole hand but uses the fretboard as almost like a fulcrum to create the vibrato, all right? So this is the kind of vibrato that I would use on the G string and down, as well as for my ring finger on uh, the B string and up, all right? As well as this is what you'll see BB King do. BB does this vibrato a lot. So the way this vibrato works is 
the hand positioning is almost identical to the Clapton vibrato. So remember, you're doing this and your fingers are together, right? That's the most important part. However, what's different is my hand is actually touching the fretboard. And this vibrato doesn't necessarily go up more so than it goes down, down and back, down and back. The Clapton vibrato goes up, down, back, down, back, up, back, down, back, up, back, right? This goes down and back, down and back. And you'll notice, so this part of my hand, all right, is touching the bottom of my fretboard. My thumb is kind of there as a little guide. See that? And then my index finger is, again, on its side, right? Not like this. It's on its side. So the string is touching this part of my index finger. I don't know if you can see the callus there, but that is the callus, you know, that I have from doing those, those kinds of vibrato. And you go, you just twist your wrist like this, all right? Kind of like you're doing, hey man, gnarly, right? Kind of same story. And then for this ring finger thing, again, keep these knuckles together, middle and ring. And then maybe put your index finger there to help out. From a side view, see how I'm kind of using the thumb to pinch a little bit? And then I'm rocking on my index finger joint there. I'm rocking like that. So again, you can practice this vibrato along with a metronome, right? Da 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 triplets and eighth notes. All right. And if you guys don't know what triplets or eighth notes are, triplets are three beats per metronome click. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And eighth notes are two beats per metronome click. So one and two and three and four and, okay? Uh, if you guys have any questions, shoot me a message. Uh, and if not, uh, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of videos on there as well. My Instagram handle is Jake Baines Official. It'll be in the description down below. Um, also, my website will be down there and everything else. If you guys are interested in taking private lessons from me, um, then shoot me an email. Uh, my email will be down below and I will get back to you. All right. Have a blessed day, guys. Rock on.